Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of the Road on Off. I hope everyone is all in well. Today we are just coming out to check on the birds. It was a little better to fly the birds earlier. Earlier it was overcast. Right now the sun's up, but still, still pretty cool. Uh, there's a light wind, which I like flying the birds in. I feel like they um they like rolling more in the wind, so uh, we'll go ahead and let the kippers out. They are doing much better now. I think it's because the, the weather is cooler. And I started adjusting their feed. Originally I was feeding them about three-fourths Milo and one-fourth wheat, but I think that combination was making the birds fly a little shorter. They're flying a little slower, but as for time-wise, they're flying not long enough. So I adjusted it and we'll see, we'll see how it goes from there. Get all these guys to come out. Skull birds. So you, it's a little earlier than what I usually fly them. That's probably the reason why they don't really want to come out. That guy's the yellow guy that I said it got hurt a couple weeks ago. It is able to fly now. Still not super strong, but it is able to fly now. It did come out the other day. Um, it'll come out. It probably will come out. I just don't know if it's gonna try to fly and kit. But I usually just leave that bird alone. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, but I usually just leave her alone in here. If she wants to take off, she can. But there goes the birds. I think it's perfect flying conditions right now, other than the sun being out. Just filming with my GoPro today, so footage may not be that great, but you kind of see him up there. There goes the yellow guy. I finally did put a covering on my chimney, so now the birds can't fall in there. I've had a bunch of birds fall in that chimney in the past couple weeks, so I finally closed it up, so now I won't have to worry about birds disappearing and falling in there so birds are pretty active right now but let's go ahead and hop in the main loft and I'll just show you guys the babies and how they look like right now birds look hungry but I probably won't feed them until a little later let's just hop in here real quick take a look at everything Show you guys these up here first john johnson pier so this guy is a blue check self the first blue check self that i bred this year surprisingly usually i'm able to breed a lot of blue check selves but this is actually the first one i'm um, not sure what i'm gonna do with this guy yet see you're gonna be flown or be sold and here's his nest mate. Looks like it's gonna be a red check. Right here, this is the foster baby. And this one may be off of John's single bird fly family, which is his, his um, really good side. But probably gonna have to let it mature a little bit more. Have a little more feathers come out so I could uh, show John and figure out if it is or not. But I'm thinking it is because his family usually throws blue checks with white flights, and this one looks like it's gonna be a blue check with white flights. So this guy's doing good. Single bird, so it gets fed a lot, and it feels crop. His crop is full. Danny Courtney bird right here. I didn't realize it, but I banded this guy with a racing a racing band last year. I just noticed this year that I banded it with a, a racing pigeon band, but it doesn't really matter. Two eggs in here. Should be hatching in like a week and a half. In here, two eggs also. Should be hatching about the same time. 
down here, nothing. Down here. They started making a nest, so this belongs to one of my blue check or my silver check selfs and the blue bar cockbird I got back from John. They started making a nest, so we'll see if they lay eggs. But this is if they do lay eggs, this is gonna be my final and last round of birds that I will let lay eggs in here. So we'll see what happens in like a week or so. Right here's the Turner stuff, and yeah, these guys are yellows. Take a look at this guy. Very pretty looking yellows. That typical yellow looking Turner bird. I'm donating one of these to my buddy, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the other one. But this guy is bigger than this guy right here. But they both do seem healthy and they both do seem like they're getting fed. Hopefully this guy makes it. I don't know why. It's much smaller than the other guy. But you know it is eating. It is being fed. So hopefully it makes it. Hopefully it survives. It might just be something where I, I, I might have to take that bigger guy out. Um, sooner than the little guy. Just so the little guy gets fed more. But hopefully it survives and hopefully it matures properly down here my John Johnson stuff so it looks like I was able to breed a silver check and a silver bar the only thing is that based on what John told me the cockbird does not carry dilute so I'm assuming that the grizzled hen in here got topped by my blue check self bird so I'm assuming that's the reason why these birds are silvers and they are dilute so I don't think the father may be the correct father should both should still be full blooded john johnson birds because that blue check or the silver check self cockbird is the only cockbird that i have that uh, is a true uh silver dilute or i will say my red checks my red checks cockbirds in here two of them carry dilutes so those could possibly be the father too but i'm thinking that the silver check cockbird is the father of these two i'm still debating if i'm going to keep these or not i may not keep them just because i don't know who the exact father is although these should be should be 100 percent john johnson birds I, I am not 100 percent sure who the father is so uh, that may be the selling point of me not keeping them but so you guys the other two babies in here these guys are growing up really good super big and fat this guy's pretty much this is pretty much the age that i take them out to put them in the kit box but i haven't really seen these birds eat yet so they're probably not quite ready maybe in a few days this guy right here so like i stated before i'm keeping this guy and the guy behind him I'm probably donating or selling. Show just that yellow guy that I got from John a couple weeks ago. Very pretty guy. Should be a cockbird based on what John said. It's nest mate. That silver guy right there. And that one should be a hen. But it's just a quick look at the rest of the birds. That Turner bird right there is starting to look really good you can start you can start seeing the lacing that is coming out after the molt almond guy right there it's my yellow dilute turner bird one of my turner birds i bred this season this is my deroy hen she is the full sister of my almond cockbird in here just my silver check yeah all the birds are doing good so we're just gonna hop out of the main loft and wait for the kit birds to come back hopefully they don't fly too long let's see let me fly in a little high than what I would like I guess right now they're not flying super high. That's a decent 
decent height, but I would like them to fly a little lower just for judging purposes. But we're gonna wait for them to come down and when they come down, we're gonna feed them and I'll just kind of walk through those birds real quick then we'll go from there. So stay tuned guys. All right, so the birds are back. They flew a little longer than they should have. There was a couple of birds of prey up there. They were kind of chasing them. I don't think they were really hungry, but they were chasing them. I don't know if it was like a game of um, tag, but that's pretty much what they were doing up there. Got this yellow guy always chasing me when it's hungry. Come feed the birds and put them away and be done for the day. So I did get the schedule for our national fly and it's still just a, a rough schedule but I think it should be the official schedule. If it is the official schedule I should be flying early October on Tuesday and I did take the day off of work for that day. So hopefully my birds do good that day. It's going to be a noon fly so I'll be flying at noon. So. Hopefully these birds step up their game that day and do good. <clears throat> but one of my older birds from last year, that really hot uh, blue check white flight right there. I think I'm gonna take her out. She's been giving me a lot of issues. Originally it was, it's uh, half siblings that were giving me issues, but now they seem like they're, they're flying fine. And now that bird is giving me issues and it's not that it's it's not a good bird i think it's just too hot where i think once these birds fly past like that 10 minute mark it just isn't able to keep up loses a lot of energy it's a good spinner um has all the qualities of a good kit bird but it's just a little bit on its frequent side so gets left behind and sometimes it doesn't kit and sometimes it lands lands in the tree but i think what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to put her in the main loft for a week or so uh feed her up and maybe throw her back in here and see what happens sometimes that helps uh that bird i don't know it sometimes it gives me issues sometimes it doesn't but it seems like it's been giving me an issue so i may have to take it out and it may be one of the birds that gets taken out from this kit when i fly for competition day but uh, we still have a good like three weeks left uh, to make that decision so i'll keep flying them hard and see what happens seems like most of the bops have left and are leaving my birds alone for the main point. I guess the only thing I'm worried about on fly day is that flying at noon, usually when I fly in the afternoon like that, I have a lot of BOP issues, but hopefully by then all the BOPs are gone. But other than that, the birds are doing good. They seem pretty frequent. There's a few birds that aren't really doing much yet because they are still young. Um, here they're just flipping or they were just starting to come into the row but not a big deal. Like I said, this is my first year of competition flying. So if I don't make it this year, not a big deal. Um, next year would be the year for me to be able to try to do something because I'll have a bunch of holdover birds. I am headed out in a bit here to go take a look at the double kit box. We did get the okay to pick up the kit box if I decide to bring it back here. So probably gonna run out and take a look at that and take the measurements and figure out where I'm gonna put it. But most likely it's gonna be put right here next to my other kit box but yeah that's pretty much it for the video today guys so thanks for watching if you like my video go ahead and click that like button if you aren't subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button if you have any comments suggestions or questions leave them down below thanks for watching and i'll check you guys out next time